I can give you an institution that has hundreds or thousands of individual humans, staffers, congressmen, they're all working together that have contrary interests, that have every motivation. If a Republican or a Democrat thought that the other side was f***ing around or doing other things, all these people have every motivation to, to, to expose the other side, but those people are wrong. But you, the guy who's making tens of thousands of dollars selling me a message that the government is corrupt, I'm gonna listen to you for government corruption? You who has no oversight? You who has no accountability? You who's not an elected official? You who can print whatever message or lie you want, which they have, all of these alternative media pundits have done it over and over again. I'm gonna listen to you and take your word for everything. If you wanna compare stuff that we worked on in the 30s and 40s to today, where every single mother has a cell phone in every single room in the United States, those are two entirely different things. At one point in time, was it possible to coordinate a lot of people and keep a secret? Yeah, of course. But today, you've got Iranian nuclear reactors blowing up because viruses are spreading into rooms that aren't even supposed to be connected to the internet. That's what Stuxnet was. You would compare it to the 1940s? I've got text messages from Peter Strzok, somebody working on a small council of people working with Mueller to do an investigation. I'm seeing his text messages in front of Congress and people are mad because they're accusing him of impropriety. That's the level of insight that we have today into these organizations. If you want to pretend like we have the same insight now that we did 80 years ago, you're f***ing delusional. If you want to ask me 80 years ago, do you think we could have hid large projects from the American public? Yeah, sure. But everybody didn't have a 1984 Big Brother cell phone in their pocket to record every single thing. You know this because there's audio leaked of you saying dumb shit that never would have happened in the 30s or 40s, right? Hey, Destiny, a lot of the people said Nick won the, uh, the debate between you two yesterday. Especially the comment section, the reflection says that Nick won. Even I did a poll you during think so? it. Yeah. 60, 60, I mean, I, I did a poll, 60% of my audience said Nick, even though he's a racist white supremacist, 60% said he won. And, and the comments right now, they're like, yeah, a lot of them are big Nick supporters. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, they're out I there. I won because uh, Destiny's <laughs> bad faith tactics, he, he brought him back out again. Me and Destiny... You know, years ago, we used to debate viciously, and he would use these kind of, like, shitty, bad faith tactics. He just said that to me. He just brought up, we were talking about free speech, and he just brought in, like, oh, but you don't know anything about the central banking system. Like, what does that have to do with free speech? That is what it is. It's a good, it works. Hold on. Like, wait, 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 wait. So, so he, the way, he to be clear, the, the reason why I brought that up is because you said that libs are information overloaded. And like, they're just like taking things without like contextualizing. They don't understand what they're saying, right? And I was no, showing you, what that's were you talking about? Saying. Information overload, overload. I'm talking about libs see a bunch of information and they get, and that they're the ones perpetuating the mask, yes. perpetuating the jab. They get manipulated with empathy because of mm -hmm. information overload. Yeah, You're I agree. And what I'm- The central banking system is not a fair comparison because it doesn't have to, yes, I don't know everything about the Federal Reserve and the central banking system. I'm trying to learn more. No, no, I'm not you, too offended by information. Libs are, that's your people. That's not a fair comparison. That was a sneaky rat debate tactic. And I wanted to pull out the rat, but Nick wasn't here. So hey, hold on, here. hold on. So you're not trying to learn anything about the central bank. You're being I yanked know. around just like you say libs are. No, you you I say, you that's say, why I'm videos. I'm trying to learn more. that's not teaching you anything about the central bank. It's well, teaching you, know, you conspiracy did, theories. Did, did, didn't I text you earlier today? Like I want to learn more. I want to be more high IQ. I want no, to I understand that, but I'm just, I'm, I'm trying, trying to, more. I want to educate myself more. If I wanted to learn about a topic like the moon landing, would I go on YouTube and look up moon landing conspiracy to learn about the moon landing? No, I would look at many different sources and I've already heard what the government says about the moon landing. So okay, now I'm hearing an alternate so, source. But now, but you're watching pretty abstract videos about conspiracies related to the Federal Reserve, but you don't even have a basic understanding of what the Federal Reserve is. That's what it's I'm saying. That, so I'm saying you're being yanked. It's what? a private institution that prints money. How? Why? For what? For currency. It just prints money and puts it into the U.S. economy? Or what? Like, what's, what's the relationship? To what? To the U.S. economy. How does the Federal Reserve relate to the, how does the Federal Reserve relate to the U.S. Treasury? How do they decide to print money? Why do they print money? Right? Tell me. Well, no, I'm not here to educate you. It's how much money they want to print. I know that the Supreme Court has a limitation on how much money they can print. No, every hold year. on. No, 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 no. It's not. No, no. So the Supreme Court doesn't. There's a congressional limit in terms of they get raised when we talk about the debt ceiling. But that's not a limit on money printed. That's a limit on how much the federal government can okay, borrow from the truth. I'm just saying, saying that this? if you're trying to get educated on something, then you can go and like literally just read the Wikipedia. But you're not. You're looking for conspiracy videos. And I was hang just on, hold on. on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm just hold on. Let me just finish. I'm just point, hold, wait, let me just finish my thing. I'm just pointing out the hypocrisy between you saying liberals are being yanked around and are being confused and frightened by videos when you're literally looking at Federal Reserve videos going, oh my God, 80% of dollars printed in the past three years. Like, and you don't even know what like, QE is. You don't even know what fucking inflation means. Like, you're like, but I'm saying you're being yanked around the same way you're accusing others of being. 
What do you, it's the change of the value of the dollar. Change of value how? How do you measure the change? What's the difference between the CPI or the PPP, right? Like these are all like terms the where it's like- It's in circulation, <clears throat> then inflation goes up. I'm like, just saying, you're, I'm saying that you're being- And you're liberal me now because you know more about this stuff. No, no. What does no. do with liberals getting offended by information? Hold on. I'm not trying I'm to- I'm offended and I'm able to have open conversations. I understand. Just I'm trying to learn. I'm tr- has nothing to do with free speech. Okay. This is, another, this is more rat tactics, man. I'm not trying to little bro you. I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just saying that if you wanted to learn about the Federal Reserve, you would like just read the Wikipedia on it. That's it. No, the Wikipedia is owned by the government now. I will look at multiple sources and then make my own observations. How do Wikipedia, you think Wikipedia is owned by the government? Yeah, they just bought it. You know that? But you didn't. Oh, did you know that? Show me where Wikipedia was just bought by the government. It's insider trading stuff. I probably maybe I should have said that. Insider trading? What do you? It's not a Wikipedia. is not a publicly traded company. I heard about that from from millionaires who know stuff behind the scenes, but yeah, they just okay. They well, I can't, I can't, I can't win on that ground. Then I, I just want to know. I'm telling you, okay, I'm friends with a guy named Peter Thiel, and he told me that uh, it's actually not owned by secret people. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't. So the government just bought it out, and also you know that Wikipedia can be edited by anybody, and it does on a regular basis. A lot of the information on Wikipedia is manipulated. You know that. The whole point of just look at Wikipedia. And the whole point that. of Wikipedia is that it can be edited by everybody. That's the whole point of any wiki, of course. That's how it's built. Yeah, but the edits are monitored by other people as well. For a conspiracy video, why is that more like? Why is a conspiracy video bad, but Wikipedia? Because is a conspiracy good. video is made by people. one. Because a conspiracy video is made by one person trying to sell you an and idea. One person could edit the Wikipedia. They could, but millions of people look at Wikipedia. That's the difference. Okay, but- when I read a Wikipedia article, that's an article that's been edited by an unknown number of people and reviewed by an unknown number of people, right? It could be hundreds, could be thousands, could be just one. And it's the last person who edited it could have manipulated the information. No, that's like not how video. edits work on Wikipedia. On major articles, you can't just make no, an account and edit and everybody sees it. Of, there's a lot of edited information every single no, day. There's lots of misinformation that's been proven to be on Wikipedia. Okay, so here's what I would suggest to you. Go and learn how Wikipedia works. So you don't you don't even know how Wikipedia oh, it works and you're telling me conspiracy about Wikipedia. <laughs> people edit Wikipedia. What do I not understand about Wikipedia? If I were to go to an article right now, you can't just change whatever random information on like major articles and then have it stick and like everybody goes and views it, right? Like they're, they're, for major articles, these things go get locked, they're protected. You have to have like people that own the articles, people that like look over the edits. It's not just like everybody can change everything at any point in time and then that's it. Like th- there's a lot of people. Also, if anything, Wikipedia should be the thing you're championing the most. It's literally a decentralized database of information where everybody can contribute. Not anymore. Not anymore. What do you mean not anymore? Yes, it is. It still is. That's why if you go to the page, it's begging for fucking donations. That's not why they don't run ads on the pages. That's why they don't have an owner for the company. The government has a monopoly on the public information online. No, it doesn't. The government they wishes do. it. Even China can't. And they they have literally the massive fucking firewall. What do you mean? You could argue the, that some private companies might have a- podcast with Trump get taken down? Wait, what? Why did Nelk's podcast with Trump get deleted if the government doesn't have a, a monopoly on information online? Whose podcast? Nelk and Trump. I don't know. Why did they say the podcast got taken down? Because Trump said that in Minecraft, maybe the election was rigged. And what? So where did it get taken down from? YouTube. Okay, and YouTube has what restriction on misinformation? And conspiracy theories related to election well, fraud. On. I gotta jump in here. I yeah, gotta jump go in for here. it. I, I think here's the issue. Here's the <clears throat> issue is, you know, we're talking about the Federal Reserve, which is one of the most powerful institutions in the world. I think we can all agree on that, that the chairman of the Federal Reserve and their, and their discretionary jurisdiction over the money supply is an extremely powerful institution. You could also say that big tech, also extremely powerful institutions, Google and the algorithms that control what what, uh, search results will come up when you enter in a search query on Google. YouTube, extremely powerful, you know, two and a half billion, three billion users, 30 billion monthly visits. And here's the issue. It's not to say that we don't know the nominal reasons behind why they behave the way that they behave. You know, Wikipedia says something about the Federal Reserve. YouTube says they have a reason why they banned Trump. The Federal Reserve says that this is this is how they operate and this is what it's supposed to be. I don't think anybody I don't think anybody is saying that we shouldn't look at what Wikipedia says about the Federal Reserve or whatever. I think the point is that Maybe if you want to understand the counter argument or, or maybe if there is a conspiracy, if there is a deeper truth, you're not going to find it on Wikipedia. That's the point. You know, if we're saying that YouTube may have banned Donald Trump for a different reason other than what they said was the reason, you wouldn't go to YouTube for that reason. You know, YouTube is not going to say, well, we really ban him for... If you, if you doubt the authority of Wikipedia, if you doubt the authority of YouTube, if you doubt the authority 
of the Federal Reserve, then it's obviously self-referential to say, well, we're going to find arguments against their credibility and their authority on their own platform. It just doesn't make sense. So how is that yeah, any less? Out, how is it any less self-referential than your side? So it turns out, but here's why: because when you go there and say, well, you watched a YouTube video about it, it's like, okay, well. If the Federal Reserve were engaged in corruption, do you think that it would show up on Wikipedia or do you think it would be a researcher independent who would post it on YouTube? Exactly. Where else would they distribute the content? And and I think the big difference well, can, is- that Can I answer that question or are you just gonna ramble past like yeah, every question? Yeah. yeah, so no, if ahead. the Federal Reserve or some of these federal institutions were engaged in corruption, we've got multiple committees across both the House and the Senate that are in charge of like monitoring this stuff. Here, so here's like the funny thing. So here's, what you do. So here's, I'm belittling and here's laughing the funny thing. when you say something that's obviously ridiculous sure. by common okay, sense. Okay, so so here, here's the funny thing, is that I can give you an institution that has hundreds or thousands of individual humans, staffers, congressmen, they're all working together, that have contrary interests, that have every motivation. If a Republican or a Democrat thought that the other side was fucking around or doing other things, all these people have every motivation to, to, to expose the other side, but those people are wrong. But you, the guy who's making tens of thousands of dollars selling me a message that the government is corrupt, I'm gonna listen to you for government corruption? You who has no oversight? You who has no accountability? You who's not an elected official, you who can print whatever message or lie you want, which they have, all of these alternative media pundits have done it over and over again. I'm gonna listen to you and take your word for everything. You who thinks the Jews run the government, who can't give me who can't give me a single shred of evidence for any claim you make, right? The government never lies. No, nobody ever I never said did I say the government never lies? Did I say the government never lies? You're blind that the government is either unwilling or unable to lie. They're either unwilling or unable to create mass conspiracies because they're working against each other because of checks and balances and it's such a large-scale organization that deception and subterfuge w would be unlikely or impossible. Of course that's not true. Of course the government has been able to betray and lie to the public. They kept the Manhattan Project secret. There was a city of 200,000 people building an atomic bomb and they kept that a secret for years. Uh, against spies, against the general public. They kept a conspiracy that Franklin Roosevelt was in a fucking wheelchair. And you could say, oh, it was the 40s and it was a different media environment. But the point is, the government is is able to concoct conspiracies. They come up with, they're engaged in information warfare all the time, and they say that. If you read the papers from the Atlantic Council, policy papers from the Atlantic Council or from NATO, or if you read the policy papers that come from the State Department, they talk about narrative warfare. They talk about engaging in, in information warfare, and they don't describe it in exactly those terms, but they talk about controlling the dominant political consensus, political narrative in the country for purposes of national security, and for purposes of diplomacy abroad. So, I mean, it's just like, well, will you acknowledge that the government is able to keep secrets and no, lie? Or do you no, think that, that no, no, they're not able to no, do that? Really? Absolutely not. What so an individual, an, indi I mean, that, an individual, an individual, and how, how are you saying that, Dustin? Let, what about the yeah, let me know. Solution? Let me know when I can talk and I'll tell you. OK, go ahead. So. When you want to talk about the Manhattan Project, if you want to compare stuff that we worked on in the 30s and 40s to today, where every single motherfucker has a cell phone in every single room in the United States, those are two entirely different things. At one point in time, was it possible to coordinate a lot of people and keep a secret? Yeah, of course. But today, you've got Iranian nuclear actor reactors blowing up because viruses are spreading into rooms that aren't even supposed to be connected to the fucking internet, right? That's what Stuxnet, Stuxnet was. The idea that today we don't have an unprecedented insight into every single part of the government, into every single fucking person's life is insane. You would compare it to the 1940s? I've got fucking text messages from Peter Strzok, somebody working on a small council of people working with Mueller to do an investigation. I'm seeing his text messages in front of Congress, and people are mad because they're accusing him of impropriety, right? That's the level of insight that we have today into these organizations. If you want to pretend like we have the same insight now that we did 80 years ago, you're fucking delusional. If you want to ask me 80 years ago, do you think we could have hid large projects from the American public? Yeah, sure, but everybody didn't have a 1984 Big Brother cell phone in their pocket to record every single thing. You know this because there's audio leaked of you saying dumb shit that never would have happened in the 30s or 40s, right? Nobody would have known dumb jokes that you made to your friends in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Nowadays, everybody's got a cell phone in their pocket that's more powerful than the rocket that we send on the moon, and you're trying to pretend that the information that we have available to us didn't change? That's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, okay, well, you could talk really fast, but you've just said that you think the government is unable to lie, and I think that is really the crux I of didn't the say the government so you, is unable live, to lie. That's literally what you just said. You said that in because of modern technology, because of unprecedented insight that didn't exist 80 years ago, now the government is unable to to create these large-scale deceptions. That's, That's what, what I said. That's saying. what I said. Large-scale okay. deceptions. Well, True. And, and, and once again, you, you can talk really fast, but that's the crux of the debate. I think the government can lie. You don't think they can. The government has lied. It's been proven. They lied under oath to the, well, but Congress has oversight. James Clapper is under oath 
said in a hearing in Congress that the NSA is not engaged in large-scale data collection, and then they were, because Edward Snowden leaked it. Now, you could say, oh, well, the capability of Edward Snowden to leak something proves that government can't keep secrets. What about all the secrets where there isn't an Edward Snowden? They chase Edward Snowden to the ends of the earth. He escaped to Russia, the only country that could give him asylum, effective asylum, where the CIA can't kill him because Russia's protecting him with, with the Russian national security apparatus. But they're ch And they've extradited Julian Assange for publishing those secrets and they're fucking torturing him on an airplane probably somewhere. So don't tell me, oh, the government can't keep secrets. TWA 800 in 1996 was shot down by a fucking missile. 250 eyewitnesses saw it. They found residue from a missile on wreckage of the plane. And when CBS got a hold of it, the feds came in and said, that that's evidence, we're confiscating it. And by the way, you're going to jail for taking a piece of evidence away from a crime scene. And then all the news media aired an animation which was created by the government that said, oh, all those 250 people that said it was a missile, what they really saw was the plane exploding and falling down. It was an optical illusion. And then it just went away. But there's, but it's well documented that, the, and, and there's a million things like that. The OK City bombing, the JFK assassination, 9-11. All, all, they love well, all, all of those things were conspiracies. All of those things were fake. The 9/11, the JFK. Can I, I'm curious. Do you think? Do you think we landed on the moon? I'm trying to get a gauge of where we're at here. Do you think that was the thing know. that happened? I have. I don't know. I haven't researched. I don't that. think we did. You don't. don't okay. So did. neither of you have strong opinions. Do I, I already know? Nick doesn't think dinosaurs are real, right? Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm not an archaeologist. But uh, but I, I don't know. I don't know if I believe that 100. percent I've, I've said I've joked. We are around getting and, we are getting an odd. Hold on, hold on, Destiny. It's pretty stupid to just debunk all of this by saying it's crazy conspiracy theorists. When we really look into all this stuff, it's pretty obvious that the government has been mass deceiving people. For there are, you might get a department in the government that tries to be deceitful. You might get a people. Department in the government is the government. You have a. You just don't know what you're talking about when you say that. The government is comprised of three different branches, and under each of these, well, except for the, the Supreme Court, okay. there are tons of different agencies that operate with a ton so of different ways, right? So trust? there's, hold on, so you just, you have to understand, there's a difference between saying the FBI or the NSA is keeping a secret versus the entire government is keeping okay. a secret. <laughs> these two things- the government. All the same, they're part of the same system. Hold on, system I gotta, I need, I, I gotta think for a second on how, because if you just like, if you just don't know, I don't even know how to bridge that to you. The, what, the do NSA you think, is not part of the do government? You, do you think that the entire government keeping a secret is the same thing as the NSA keeping a secret? The NSA is part of the government. Can you answer That's that question? Do you think about. the, do you think the entire government keeping a secret is the same thing as the NSA keeping a secret? Uh, obviously yes. not, but that's not what we're okay, claiming. Okay, that is what we're talking about then. The, we're every, not. every different part of the government knowing something and all of them coordinating to keep a secret is different than one department keeping a secret or people in a department keeping a secret. Oh, that's the oh, whole oh, reason oh, why oh, most oh, of these conspiracy oh, yeah. theories, that's why these conspiracy theories generally fall apart is because usually they require the coordination of hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of people across different agencies, sometimes across different countries. That's a lot different than a few people in the NSA keeping a secret. Fundamentally, if you, you want to come here and tell me, if you if, if you want to if you want to come here and you do want to tell me, hey, I think that the NSA or the CIA or the FBI, I think that they have a secret or they're keeping a secret from the American people, or whatever. Eh, that's possible. the The CIA, oh the CIA, oh the, the CIA for sure. The NSA for sure. The FBI for sure. But if you want to come and you want to say something like all of the intelligence agencies together and and Ooh. Congress have come together and they're keeping secrets, that just shows that you have a fundamental misunderstanding of how any of the government oh, operates. And I would no. encourage you to talk to anybody that's actually held a job or at least a fucking please. security clearance for any of these places oh, because please. they don't I cooperate. Got jobs. I got people jobs in that the, in the people don't. I, this guy the, in the State Department recommended this. That's great, to me. nice. These agencies the do not have that level of cooperation or penetration into the other agencies. It's fundamentally just not how they operate. You need well. First of all, you need to take the red pill. Second of all, here's the thing. Okay, you, first of all, you start by saying, "Oh, uh, the government." The, I, and you said this, the mm -hmm. government is not capable in the modern technological era of large scale deception. Now you're saying, well, they're saying the whole government, that's different than saying a part of the government, like the, the intelligence part of the government, which would be tasked with doing that. It's just ridiculous. I mean, what what are you even arguing? What's even the point of all this? Are you sure, arguing I can, yeah, I, arguing I, yeah. or what? I, I'll repeat it for you since you didn't understand. I'll speak slowly this time, okay? 
Saying that the government is capable of selling a conspiracy theory implies it, a level it, of coordination that doesn't exist. And if you wow. talk to anybody that's ever held a government job, they'll tell you that. Yeah, we don't have that level of coordination. If you want to tell me an individual agency might be keeping secrets or acting improperly, yeah, that's more believable. That's just common sense. Much the same that if you tell me an entire school is, is trying to keep a secret, that's gonna be a lot different than two teachers having an affair and keeping it a secret. Do you understand that analogy? Oh yeah, yeah, that's a really salient, that's a really nuanced position. Because when we were saying the government conspires, you, you said, that's bullshit. Oh, you meant the NSA can keep secrets? Oh, well, yeah, that's totally legit. So whatever, you, you think that the NSA can keep secrets then, right? And the FBI and the CIA. Well, are they're correct? intelligence that's agencies, so it's, necessarily it's they keep secrets. It's vital to the function okay. of the of the departments, of course. Okay, so, so you're NSA oh, hang on, hang on. So what, people. what would you have to say then about something like, what would you have to say about Operation Northwoods as an example? I, for any individual that thing is? that you want to bring up, I would have to dig into it because I wouldn't trust your take on it because you're gonna okay. probably but give you, me the one sided thing. Wait, I, have no idea, I have no idea, I have no idea. Okay, so you don't even know. You haven't even looked into it, right? Do you, no, do you, do you want to do it? Do you want to do it right well, now? We can if you want. Wait, the reason why I'm asking, the reason why I'm asking is because you're going to sit here and say- 1962, dog? Yeah. Can yeah, you give me something in the past two decades since well, cell on, phones here, have been invented? Hang on, hang on. Here, here's why I ask before, before you do your usual tactic of- He's not, I he can't interrupt and interject. Right. If I, hang on, well, let me explain uh, my point because it's yeah. important. Oh yeah, Are you going to tell me like some shit that Paul Revere was cooking up next to like fucking, yeah. That's funny because historical. No, you're going to keep interjecting because you're the guy that doesn't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're going to sit there and say- You're right. I don't know every single proposed false flag in 1962. I don't. Tell me about your esoteric conspiracy theories. Go for it. you're not even curious because you're not even curious because you will read Wikipedia and uh -huh. say, I trust everything the government says. The government never Wikipedia lies. Wikipedia is not the government. Wikipedia is not the government, Nick. Oh, oh, right. Do you know the I'm difference sorry. between the Wikipedia and the government? Do you yeah, yeah, there's a, yeah, yeah, Destiny. There's a meaningful distinction between Silicon Valley and the government. Mm -hmm. Silicon Valley doesn't edit Wikipedia. That's, that's not- Oh yeah, and, and uh, Silicon Valley, Silicon Valley doesn't work with the intelligence agencies. Silicon I never Valley said Silicon. doesn't get their biggest content oh, from yeah. the intelligence agencies. Oh yeah, do you remember when, F, when the FBI was groveling to Apple for backdoors on their devices? Man, what a close relationship right, those two right, entities right, have. Right, right. Oh yeah, my God, that, dude, these guys get along like peas in a, a pod. Absolutely, uh, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's okay. definitely not an iron triangle between the Ivy League University, Silicon Valley, and the intelligence agencies to create a To create Wikipedia, to, to create AC. Wikipedia. They, they all work together they on Wikipedia. Mark Zuckerberg they actually edited this article on Operation, Operation Northwoods. I'm looking right now. They, these it's edits are by Zuckerberg. Oh, and Bezos did the the, the, the the paragraph right down There's here, too. There's no collusion between the private and public sector because I could say that Mark, oh, you think Mark Zuckerberg edited Wikipedia? <laughs> no, I think that there's conspicuous collusion between Silicon Valley and the intelligence agencies. Silicon Talk Valley to me about, Oper you brought up Operation Northwoods. SMP Talk to me about five. Operation Don't Northwoods. Me. I will, I will. Yeah, let's That's hear it. That's a perfect example. That's uh -huh. a perfect example. Declassified CIA plan to conduct false flag attacks across the country, blame them on Cuba to create a, a popular support for a U.S. war in Cuba. That is something that the U.S. Joint Chief of Staff supported and offered to the president, as well as many other military personnel, was shut down and declassified however many years later, 40, 50 years later. It's an example of the fact that if, if that kind of thing is being presented, Operation Northwoods, Operation Mockingbird, MK Ultra, Project Paperclip, these are things which if they're being cooked up by the government, by the highest level people in the government, conspiracies and, and particularly false flags, if they're being written and presented by the government and declassified, it, it demonstrates two things, willingness and ability. They're willing to do these kinds of things and they have the capability to carry them out. And if that's the case, that destroys the benefit of the doubt because you said, well, I haven't looked into the conspiracies, but I don't think that they can happen because it would not be logistically possible because you never could get that level of scale of personnel to conspire in government because thousands of people, smartphones, cameras, you know, people can see everything. Yeah, but do you do you recognize both do you, the willingness and the capability then that destroys that benevolent of the doubt that do, we have do you to recognize and evaluate do you, that. do you recognize that there's a difference between the willingness of a body to conduct foreign warfare in Cuba versus conducting it on people in the United States? Yes. So so why is Operation Northwoods your go-to here? Well, again, it dem they're, they're talking them. about false flags against Americans in America to blame on Cuba. <clears throat> and then was this ever carried out? No. 
It was presented to the president by the Joint Chief of Staff, and JFK said, uh, "No, don't. The, we Wait. call ourselves humans. That's the okay." Quote. So Once my original, asked, so my original thing that I said was that I think that the United States has too many different human people in it that wouldn't let things like this ideally happen. Or if it did, hopefully somebody would expose it. You're giving me an example of a plan that was cooked up by one of our intelligence agencies, brought to the president, and then the president shot it down because he's a human that didn't think he wanted to see that happen in the United States. Isn't this just a story that proves my point? No, it does not, because it demonstrates that intelligence agencies are thinking like this. And, the, and we, Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they're is, thinking of a lot of things, but the goal is at the end of the day, hopefully, they're not doing atrocious things because they have some level of oversight from different branches of government. Uh, right, and you're telling right, me that the so, and you're you're so. telling me that the president shot this plan down, that these false flags didn't happen. And then and then let me ask you a question. Uh, yeah, go what, for what it. happened to Jack Kennedy then in 1963? <clears throat> and he was assassinated by the intelligence agencies. You have no proof or well, evidence what, I, for, I, I but it's the. So, oh, right, right, right. Well, who, we, I'm we sorry, who, was it, who do you think 9-11, was that well, Bush's well, or was it? This. Let me say this, let mm -hmm. me say this. Mm -hmm. So Jack Kennedy gets killed. Yep. His brother, who's the attorney general, his brother says this. He never believed that JFK was killed. Mm -hmm. And this has been reported in all kinds of biographies of people that knew RFK. He never believed that Jack Kennedy was killed by a lone gunman. Because, they, you know, when you that movie JFK by Oliver Stone, that is all based on a real story. Mm -hmm. The main characters played by, by Kevin Costner. That was a real uh, guy in New Orleans. And, and the, the theory about the magic bullet, where you get a bullet that enters and exits seven times. One bullet enters and exits a couple of people. Do you want to do? Do you want to do That's a formal? Do you want to do? A, on, do you want to? Well, hold on, I, I'm not ready to dive into JFK conspiracy theory. Well, do you want to set up? Do you want to set up? Point, no, no, because every because every time you every time it is it is the point. If you want to do people an organized, if you want to do an organized conversation on the JFK assassination, we can do that. Would you like to set one of those up? We can schedule it right now if you want to. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, hold on. Wait, give me a time and a date. Um, let's do September. I don't know. What do you want to do in September? Whatever you, whenever you want. A time and a date I'll on it. I'll be in Florida all week. Let's do... Oh, in person? No, it'll be an online debate. We can, we can go over the... Tomorrow. What? Do it tomorrow. Let's do, uh... I, I can't. I'm flying to Florida tomorrow. Let's do September 1st. Also, the that? thing that you're wearing a red shirt and Destiny's wearing a blue... Nice. Yes, red, go red pill! Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. What was the time of the day? Uh, let's do Thursday evening. How about Thursday, 8 o'clock Central? On when? September 1st. I'm going to be in L.A. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, well, then you give me a date then. Um, uh, Mr. Bon Vivant. We can do... Active Hold on. Active Measures Donate 5 is a destiny mm -hmm. can't comprehend how they are contractually bound to not leak classified information or they can be ran out of the country like Snowden. You know, there are oversight agencies for every single intelligence agency that exists that do have access into these organizations to vet them. If you think every single person who, hold on, don't distract me from this. The the sixth or the seventh at a certain time, what time? Uh, of September? Yeah. Sixth or the seventh. Okay, let's do the sixth at eight central. I'm writing it down on my calendar. Six o'clock, or I'm sorry, the sixth at eight central. Is that nine o'clock my time? Uh, yes. Okay. okay, and you and your your thesis for this, you think you can prove to me that JFK, the assassination, the official story is a lie. Not that yeah, you can that, raise some questions, but you think you've got. Okay, cool. I got it on my that calendar. The Warren Commission is bullshit. Okay, and that Lee Harvey Oswald did not act alone. And and I was getting to an interesting point. So the Attorney General, JFK's brother, never believed the official story. He goes and his and he was basically sidelined. Lyndon Johnson hated RFK. He becomes president. Hoover, who is the FBI director, he stayed in. He was supposed to go under Jack Kennedy, and they basically sidelined RFK. RFK then, after Lyndon Johnson is set to lose in '68, Lyndon Johnson steps aside. RFK announces he's running. RFK wins the California winner take all primary. He's set to become the nominee, and then the president. And then RFK is assassinated by Sirhan Sirhan. Sirhan Sirhan comes up with him, Palestinian and shoots him with a gun with six bullets. Eight bullets are fired, two of them in the back of RFK's head. One problem, Sirhan Sirhan came at him with a six shot gun from the front. And it's like, and that's in the police report. These are things that are going on. And, and all I'm saying to you, Destiny, this is why I didn't want to get too much into the weeds, because you don't have to take my word for it and believe it. The point is, there is enough out there where we can't rely on the benefit of the doubt and say, oh, the government can't conspire, so let's just, Let's essentially just assume that that's impossible and write that off. There are enough inconsistencies 
And there's enough things like Mockingbird and Northwoods and so on that you have to evaluate and say, okay, is the government story true or is the guy on YouTube, the autistic guy on YouTube who made a 10 hour documentary, is he right? And you know, maybe you watch both of those and say, oh, the government was right. So I'm sure for some of those, that's valid. But we are of the opinion that, and we just disagree, that the government is able to carry out these kinds of deceptions. If they're willing, they're able to. There's evidence that that is the case. And so we need to evaluate. That's the problem, though, is people just call them conspiracy theories. And conspiracy theory is a synonym for crazy. Oh, that's a conspiracy theory. <clears throat> Dismissed. Yeah, so the, well, the issue... the issue theories are true yeah, So the issue is that if we approach anything, if we want to be Bayesians about it, right? And you're going to ask me, on without any evidence whatsoever, who's more capable of concocting a conspiracy and lying? Is it going to be 10,000 people of different backgrounds, political affiliations, interests in the government, interests in the private sector, and everything? Are those people all going to come together and conduct a, some kind of plan against the American people? Or is one dude who has every incentive to lie to you as much as possible, to make as much money as possible as YouTube, is that guy going to lie to you? Well, the probability exists that, of course, the guy on YouTube is lying to you. Now, is it is it impossible that there might be some nefarious things that are coordinated at high levels between lots of people. It's not impossible. It's just highly unlikely. And you need a very high standard of evidence to meet that. I can't talk to you about every fucking conspiracy theory in the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. I can talk to you about the coronavirus. I can talk to you about vaccines. I can talk to you about ivermectin, hydroxychloroquine. And I can tell you consistently on every single one of these topics, you guys are pure NPCs. Every talking point is an yeah. NPC talking point. Every single new drug that you want is a bot drug. Every single opinion you have related to a mask or a vaccine is straight manufactured from some dude selling you fucking <laughs> vitamin supplements on the fucking Alex Jones show all the way down to you thinking that like eating horse paste is going to be a better way to cure a disease okay. than what fucking every <laughs> academic institution and hospital around the world I, is telling you. Did you take ivermectin? No. Yeah, I didn't either. Why are you assuming I, that? You're calling us episodes take, about that. Because that, because drugs. that, because every anti-establishment talking point, first it was ivermectin, then it was fucking hydroxy, or first it was hydroxychloroquine, <laughs> then it was ivermectin, then it was remdesivir for a little bit, it was every single new different <laughs> fucking drug. What? I didn't take any pills. You just called me an NBC about That's that. That's great that you didn't, but these are the uh, these are the YouTube talking points. I don't know when you got Hang into on. the YouTube anti-vaxxer shit, I'm, but these I'm were all the mainstream this. YouTube talking points every single day. Destiny, I'm just curious about this because, you know, I, I think that I like I understand what you're saying. It's it's just about simplicity. What is more likely? There's a crazy guy that that went off, or ten thousand people got together. You know, you would say it's probably more likely that the individual did. And, and I, I get that, like, in theory. I get that, like, as an abstract rule. But when you're talking about the president's shot, which has major ramifications, or like 9-11. 9-11, you could say, changed the course of world history. Because what were the results of 9-11? Patriot Act, war in Afghanistan, war in Iraq, surveillance state, etc. And it's like... You know, yeah, maybe maybe it was a bunch of, you know, it was 19 uh, Muslims who were deranged and they got on planes. Okay. It wasn't but just 19 I, Sunni Muslims deranged and, get in, and just randomly okay. got on planes, oh, but okay, go let's ahead. Let's just miss the point entirely. <laughs> sure, yeah. Well, I mean, when you present life. the story, it's like, wow, what a coincidence. Let, they all did it on the same day. Let's just miss the point entirely. Yeah, let, me, let me just precisely. Yeah, yeah let's get precise. What did Bush is, do? Okay, Tell me. We, yeah. can, we can trust. The point is, mm -hmm. when it's something that has grave consequences like that, and it's something that's obviously such a pivotal point in world history, and there's questions raised about it. See, the thing is, you're not even interested. You don't even know the lore about the conspiracies because you never looked into them. And it's like, you could say, well, I assume it's more likely Bayesian analysis tells us, okay, well, you know, that doesn't really work when you're talking about 3,000 dead people and two major wars, really like 10 wars, uh, realistically, two ground wars, but really like 10 wars, plus all these other things. It, like that kind of those assumptions which you're making based on probability just aren't good enough you have to look into it and when that kind of money is at stake that's what you would call motive when there's trillions of dollars at stake trillions of dollars in contracts and you're talking about the power to surveil the public and you're talking about military occupation in the middle east which is at the which is at the intersection of three continents not to mention the strategic assets and the strategic considerations, China on the east, Russia in the north, Israel in the west. It's like it's not good enough to just say, well, I assume the government couldn't do that. No, you got to look into it. And you may look into it and come away and say, oh, it's totally unconvincing. But to dismiss it and hand wave it away and say, oh, that's a conspiracy theory. That's my argument. I'm not what I'm saying is I'm not coming to you and saying 9-11 was a hoax. I'm saying 9-11 could be a hoax. 
And if 9-11 could be a hoax, everybody needs to look into it and know damn well that it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't. I wish it wasn't. Sure. That would and I, make me sure. feel a lot And better. I agree with you. It's good to ask questions. But you guys don't just ask questions. You guys believe in literally every single fucking conspiracy in the world. Not true. Do you think the That's government puts fluoride in the water for nefarious it's purposes? Not, this is you believe in conspiracy theories in the first hold place. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, asking, I'm curious. Says. Do you think the government... Do you think... Here. Do you think the government puts fluoride in the water for conspiracies, Nick? For conspiracies? Do you, for, I don't think for, they do it for, for conspiracies. Think, they do it. Why do they do it? Why do they do it? Well, they say it's for the teeth. I, I happen to think there's adverse health. Yeah. Okay. So that, so for an affairs, do you think do you, do you think the shooter in Vegas? I don't think they do it. Hold on. Hold on. I'm just I'm just running down. I'm sure. Shooter in Vegas. You, that was obviously fake. Yeah. That, that was obviously fake. fake. Okay. 9/11. Prince of nine, Saudi Arabia was there at Mandalay Bay when it happened. Yep. 9/11 wasn't right. real. Okay. 9/11 was was set up by Bush or whatever. Um. And you, you don't know if the real. you don't you don't know that the moon landing is, is real. Um. Let's see. Fuck. We what other? Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. You've never looked into Wait, any of that. What do you think? I don't have assume the government is telling the truth on all of that. I don't have I don't have time to look into every single. Time. You're yeah, a you, go ahead and don't let me. Yeah, don't let me. Yeah, go ahead. Keep screaming. Keep, 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 keep sewing the fuck out. I'll I'll debate what's topical and I'll read. That's why if you want to talk about if you want to talk about mRNA vaccines or you want to talk about any of the recent um, stuff related to the pandemic, I could talk all day about that because that's what I've researched. What? Have you seen the New Pearl Harbor, the 9/11 documentary? No. Oh, you gotta watch that. But you have to watch that. Yeah, you, do you guys are. That, oh, bro. it's still more 9/11 truth or shit. Why don't we? Why don't we put it on stream right now? It's on YouTube. <clears throat> no, because yeah, I, why won't you watch it? Because Destiny? one, watch you, have time, you have some time right now. I, it's, watch it. It's 1:30 a.m. I gotta sleep soon. Okay. Watch it tomorrow. Watch number it tomorrow. one. Number two. Let's watch it together. I don't have. Let's watch it. Oh, Let's watch it right now. No, I don't have time you to. I don't have. It's a bit. I don't have time to you research time. every. You're a fed, bro. You're literally a fed. That's I don't have time to research theory. every he single fucking time. conspiracy theory. I don't. Do I don't have time. Right you got right. Nick breathes, lives and breathes every single fucking conspiracy theory on the internet. This guy knows why the frogs are turning gay. This guy knows what happened to JFK. This guy knows that we never went to the moon. This guy knows. You're like I don't gay. have because you're I don't have the time. Gay. I don't have the time. Doesn't, you were playing Dungeons of Dragons when I pulled up to your stream. You have plenty of goddamn time. <laughs> sure. <laughs> With four white dudes going, oh, let's go. Where's your potion? Watch a night documentary. If you that your fans don't even like that content, they tell me in the group chat they think it's boring when you play DD. If you want to give me a conspiracy theory, like we've done with the JFK shit, and give me time to research it, I'll do it and okay. it'll come on. But I'm not going to step into this arena where you don't have any engagement with reality. You don't know anything about the real world. It's all conspiracy theories. That would be like us having a debate on fucking DD. Yeah, do, so do, you, do you want it? absolutely makes sense. Do you want to debate DD with me right now? No, because you don't know fuck all about it because it's probably a waste of your time. Just like it's usually a waste of my time to dig into the 50 million well, fucking conspiracy theories that these guys really believe in. Not. Digging into whether or not it was set up by fucking Bush. Yeah, that's a waste of my fucking time. I would rather spend more time in reality with my feet uh, on the ground figuring out what's going on than having some dude preaching to me about how every part of the government is conspiring against you, dude. In the shock of your feet on the ground in Dungeons and Dragons world. Popper is actually taking government interviews and reading the 9-11 Commission book. It's not one guy preaching. It's showing evidence. It's, it's really convincing. You're, draw it's, you're, it. you're drawing constellations. You're taking one or two people that you want to trust. You're reading their books, and then you're watching the right YouTube videos to connect it. That is hilarious. The New Pearl Harbor is every single person involved, and when you watch it, it's overwhelming evidence. This shit is bullshit. From top to bottom. Okay, Seiko, Seiko. No, no, Seiko, I'll do this. Seiko, do you want it? Do you want it? You want to set up a date for that? We can do that too. I'll fucking add that. Do it, do it, do it. I know. No, I'm not. I'm not prepared to watch it right now. I'm not gonna sit what here. And, you I, need to take notes. To watch a movie. Yes, that's how conspiracy theories work. Because there's gonna be seven thousand things brought up that I've never fucking heard in my entire life. That's how these things always work. Al, it's a movie. Let's just take, watch take it. Take this. Take this. Wait, Destiny. I just can't believe that this dude really said. Well, you want to debate me on DD? Sneeko, give me a no, time and a date. I think that's a waste of time. Give me a time that's and a date. I won't debate you on 9/11 because 9/11. It's like the things. Give me, give me a time and a date. Give me a time and a date. Watch, watch a documentary. Let's give me a time it. and a date. I want to see this. Oh, here, here's something that I have researched. Do you watch 2,000 Mules? No. Okay, of course not. Yeah, this fuck. is a blue That's pill. Election. This is a red pill. Yep. No, Dinesh D'Souza's is cringe. He ruined San Francisco's career. Oh Which shit! Oh yeah, I forget you guys hate every other conservative. Shit. Give me a time and a day for the 9/11 shit if you want. We can do that. I just need time to prepare. Give me time to prepare and I'll do it. Which Why do you one? need to prepare? To watch a movie. Which I need one? to prepare because it's going to be a whole bunch of random dumb shit brought up that I've never heard of before. And obviously, he's put together a documentary, so by the end of it all, it's going to be really convincing. But that's just because I don't know the arguments for any point. I, think, I can't I know every minutes. single thing in the world. My brain isn't that big.
Fad. Fad. You're such a fad. Give bro. me a time and a date. Who's Give me... paying you? Are you being paid by the government? Give me a time and a date. Bro, you're getting paid to tell people exactly what they want to hear. That's the difference I'm between you and me. Paid. You're getting I'm paid I'm to tell your audience America. exactly what they want to hear. America. I, nigga, I'm not getting paid. I'm banned from all the banks. You are are you making money doing officers. are you making money doing what you're doing? Hardly, hardly. We have some Turkish payment problem. You're about to fly to fucking Florida to have a little vacation. What happened to that four hundred thousand in crypto? Listen. You, obviously, you're getting paid. You're getting money. You're not broke. I, I invested. I invested my money wisely. Okay. I, I, you can't. You can't invest. People get yeah. money. Don't you know, spend the, uh, it. There's the obfuscation. There's the pivoting. There's a. That's you have an audience job. because oh, they come to you to listen to your particular message. That's never going to change. That's what you they're coming to you for. The and they're not going to. Yeah, I get paid by, by the CIA. By the yeah, government. dude. I'm cutting you a fat check from the government. How did you guess, dude? How did you know that? Because you're not even interested in what whether 9 is fake or not. <clears throat> because I don't have time to research every... I'm not interested in the frogs That's are turning gay or not. That's your That's job. That's your job. That's not my job. My job is That's to entertain people on YouTube. My, that is not my job. Actually, that, that makes no sense. If you're getting mad at me for watching conspiracy videos telling me to read Wikipedia, then why don't you read some conspiracy information if you're saying read both sides? I if did. you're getting mad at me for blindly watching conspiracy videos, why I should get mad at you for only fucking digesting what the government already told you? Sure. Then that's what I'm saying. If you want to give me a topic, I'll dig into it and we can go through it. But until then, yeah, I'm not going to watch one conspiracy theory video on YouTube and be like, oh, wow, this guy that's getting paid to tell me conspiracy theories and has a whole audience that loves conspiracy oh. theories is telling me about a conspiracy theory. Why the fuck would I go to that guy for information about the conspiracy theory? Yeah, it's true. We should trust the government instead. Don't trust some autism. Yeah, why would we trust destroyed. the government, you know, of changing people that's made up of tens <laughs> yeah. of thousands of individuals with accountability <laughs> agencies and government oversight panels? Why chill, would I trust that stupid chill, shit when I could just trust chill, the one fucking chill. schizophrenic dude on fucking YouTube? <laughs> True. That makes government sense. Chill. I trust the schizos. I trust the people that like have their lives destroyed trying to tell the truth and get censored. Tell you, the truth. 9 yeah, 11 of course. conspiracies are against the community <clears throat> guidelines, but you're like, oh, I trust Wikipedia. Okay. Where, where's this Pearl Harbor video that you wanted to link me? Is it on YouTube? YouTube. Yeah, nice one, yeah. Nick. Okay, so give me a time and a date. It is against the TLS. Why is it on YouTube then? I don't know. Maybe they. they <laughs> oh, maybe, oh, 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 oh. Okay. Give me, give me a time and a date for it. We can <laughs> do it. It's too based. Uh, well, Sneeko, do you want to watch? I'll watch it with Destiny. You can watch it with I'm us. Down. What do you want to do? It tomorrow? Tomorrow? You're going to give me one day to read everything on 9-11 fucking conspiracies? He's, he's got to prepare. He's got to get to State Department talking points. He's got he's to get a memo. Hold on. Let me... What is... Today is the <laughs> night... Clinton before watching this documentary? What? You're going to call Hillary and Bill up before you watch a movie? <sighs> Destiny, why don't you just no, watch I, I with actually, an open mind? I, I actually call Hunter Biden. An open mind and be open to the possibility that the things in it are true. Because that's not how good research works. You don't start really? with the highly editorialized that is, accounts. That's not wow. how you learn about anything. Wow. That's why you believe everything Exposed. Russia says Exposed. about Ukraine, Nick, is when Exposed. you start with the highly biased accounts, of course you're going to come up with a highly biased opinion. Putin's a G. Of course I trust Putin. If you want to trust... Yeah, of course. Yeah, why would Putin ever lie about anything? Yeah, Joe of course. Biden. Of course. Of Telling course. me about the Russian. evils of the American CIA yeah, but you're going to suck off the Wagner America group and fucking Putin. Evil. That's the funniest America shit in the world right there. 100%. Totally we can do the... Destiny. Yeah, we can do it with an open mind. We can do. I have an open mind. That you're wrong. You I have an open mind. Like, I do. Well, I have to prepare. I have to read all the counterpoints and then. Watch. It's not reading like, the counterpoints. It's mind. like it's getting as informed as possible the facts of the matter. Then it's looking up at, like okay. stories from both sides. Yeah. So we can do the sure. twenty second. Sneak if you want, we can do the twenty second on it. What's doing? That's a Monday. What? Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna do, you're an EST, right? Yeah. Okay, 9-11 debate on the 22nd. Let's go! At dude, 6 p.m., okay? Dude, Sneeko, we're gonna red pill everybody. It's this a fucking five hour documentary though. Go. Yeah, it's gonna be an endurance test, Destiny. Yo, Nick, you realize I'm gonna get called Koo now because you dropped the N-word in front of me. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm we'll sorry. call him out for impolite. it. That yeah. was impolite, I should yeah. have said that. Damn, you didn't do that when Jadeon, Young Don, and Abu was on. Uh -oh. What does that mean? What does he think of you? I got heated. I got heated earlier. You can admonish me. You can admonish me. All right, that was enough admonishing. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Well, hey, for what it's worth, Destiny subreddit, they said that you're like Sam Jackson in Django Unchained. Now, yeah, that's they called fucking... me a coon. Your white yeah. audience was calling me a coon because I'm that's... talking to somebody. 
who I agree Hold on, they don't use the cone word. They just say Uncle Tom, okay? That's different, That's liberal racism. That is liberal racism. Your fans are all white, that's it. Every single person who watches you is a white dude. And they're all gay. And they're all trans. And they're LGBT. I would argue Nick has more minority fans than you, Destiny. Absolutely not. No shot, dude. That is totally No shot, dude. I've been shooting both of you off your bit. I've seen more black Destiny, black Nick fans and black Destiny fans, even though your name is an R&B singer from the 90s. How the how where you've seen like two fucking Fuentes fans? What are you talking about? No, I've been in the sub. They've been tweeting at me. They've been spamming my chat. Oh, the guys the with the black faces, that, so they can say the n word on Twitter. Those are the black Nick Fuentes fans. No, the people who put me on to Nick were both were black and Spanish. Uh -huh. We got that rapper dude Bryson. I forget his last name. True, who's been like, that's three. When Trump raps, saying that he wants to get on the show. I think he's in the chat right now watching this. Okay, well, I guess Bryson, next time I'll bring all of my black fans, and Fuentes can bring all of his black. We we we. We can all bring all of our black fans to see us more, okay? All right, I'll be rolling 50, 50 black fans deep, okay? Because, uh, you know, because I'm, I'm there for my black friends, and, and they're there for me, you know? Because we're real, and mm -hmm. we're all, we all dislike uh, women, right? So that's really the cornerstone. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, but I, I found that very offensive. I saw that post, that was deeply offensive that they said that. They said, I was like Leonardo DiCaprio, and they said, Sneeko is like Jackson. Sam Jackson. Yeah. Liberal racism totally. is classic white people, condescending sick. tactics. Sick. Sick. It makes me sick. I'm not, not a fan man. of that, yeah. Not At least Nick loves black people. Come on, Destiny. Yeah, I would never say that. I would never say that. Because he doesn't. I would never say that blacks are Uncle Toms because I respect black people even when they disagree with me. Not even when they're not even when they're you know useful pawns for my liberal like, agenda. Nick, you literally then, think black people are genetically inferior. You think that black Stop. people are genetically, are intellectually inferior. I think that on average they have lower IQs, but I why do they have lower IQ? Why do they have IQ lower IQs, IQs on average, Nick? There's race differences. Nick, why do you what, hold on? Talk, talk to me about this. Why do you think they have sneak lower? Up. Well, okay, here. Because, so sneak because up. Of this is th yeah, there. You go. So what? So what did I just say that you disagree with? Because of genetics. You said that, that I think they're inferior. That's no, I said you different. said they're intellectually inferior. Dude, just uh, roll the tape. Roll You're the tape. Into, they're intellectually inferior. Roll say it. You think they're less intelligent because of their genetics? No, I'm, I'm saying. What do you mean? No, wait. Why are you saying no? Wait. Why are you saying no? We're talking about group differences. On no, we're not talking about group differences. We're talking about genetics. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We talk about individuals, and we can say that the, you know an individual will have a higher IQ than another person. But we're talking about groups. We're talking about how IQ is distributed among many people. So it's not to say you know. To we're say, not oh, just talking Google, Google, about the I'm distribution of IQ. We're talking about why it's distributed differently. And you think that's because yeah, of genetics? Because, of, because IQ is a genetic is a genetic trait. It's a heritable trait. Every, and by the way, most IQ research researchers believe this. The majority of IQ researchers believe that. That race can explain the differences in that, IQ that between IQ, groups? That IQ is heritable. That IQ Hold on, is Nick, a heritable Nick, trait. Nick, 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 hold on. Stop. Because now you're on a topic that I know more about. That's what you just said were two totally different statements. Saying that IQ is... Way. Saying that IQ is heritable, that's not debated, of course. Over 200 different genes have been identified that relate to IQ. Mm -hmm. Saying that group differences in IQ are due to genetic differences, that's a totally different statement. That, of course, it one follows from the other. It, are you no, listening one to what you're saying? Well, Absolutely it does. It, it doesn't. What are you talking about? Absolutely it does. If, if, there are, if there are measurable differences between the IQs, and IQ is a heritable trait, I mean, I, I, I'm sorry. What are you missing here about that? Of course that makes it genetic. Because there could be totally different, you can break apart the fucking, what are they, GWAS or whatever? You can break apart all these different genetic informations on groups of people and find tons of different genes across tons of different populations that control IQ. The idea that we can concretely say that the IQ difference from one population to another is just because of genes, that yeah, is yeah, not yeah, a position that's, that's held. Why that is not, hold on. That is, that is why do Nigerians are so many engineers? Why do Nigerians dominate this That is not field? a position that's held by the majority of IQ researchers. That's just, that's a really strong it statement is, to make. 100% it is. Okay. And the reason why Niger and that's a good question, Sneeko, it's because the thing is, you know, if you look at Africa, there's going to be 5 billion Africans by 2100. You're going to have fewer, proportionally fewer high IQ black geniuses in Africa uh, proportionately than you would in Asia but there's going to be a shitload of black geniuses by 2100 just because of how big the population will be. And, and the point is, the reason why Nigerians have such a high income in America is because in America we have an immigration system where the people that are allowed to come in, if they're not let in illegally or for other reasons, are the highest IQ, they're the best of the, the best and the brightest. So that's why. So if you're, if you're looking at Nigerians, well, all the Nigerians that are here are here because of immigration. And the reason that they immigrated is because they were high IQ and had jobs here. They had a work visa or something. 
Um, so that's why. And, but that's a problem because then we're taking all the high IQ people out of countries like Nigeria. You know, wouldn't it be good if Nigeria had those engineers and intelligent No, people? that's not true either. There's literally no empirical it's data. Brain drain. Yeah, it's called brain drain, and there's no data to support it. There's usually data that points to the opposite. It's logical. That when it's not just, you can't just say it's logical to make an argument. Of course it right? is. If you have a really smart person, but they don't have access to intensive capital for higher productivity or good educational institutions to be able to utilize their intelligence more, that person isn't going to grow into who they could be otherwise. So no, taking a really yeah, intelligent person that. from then why are you saying it's logical? Taking a really intelligent person from a country where they don't have those same opportunities because and they bring them to the United States fly. oftentimes can make those countries at home even stronger because there's an because inflow and an outflow of information that occurs when educated people <laughs> go to the United States and then go back to their other country as well. This is something that is documented. Brain drain is not. If you want to go look up studies for brain drain, you're not going to find any that support the, the concept. Dude, I mean, you're obfuscating. You're obfuscating I'm not something. obfuscating. You can't say I'm obfuscating every time you're wrong about are. something. That's not that's not how that's obfiscation works. That's obviously what you're doing because if America is bringing the smartest people out of Nigeria and if those people are of course you're right if they get educated here and go back that's different but if you're talking about they they come here and they stay here then we're literally taking smart people that were going to be there and here now you're right that maybe they wouldn't reach their full potential over there but then the solution would be invest in capital over there you know if, if that's what you want to invest do, in capital look at how you're just countries. saying random retarded shit what if we invest in capital oh, over there what do we shit? invest what are we going to invest in capital over there how, what, there's a very huge difference between just throwing money into random countries versus the most of educated course, people coming course. to the united states getting educated over here getting good jobs, sending remittances back to their people, which can be a big source of income, right? Or bringing other people from those countries or traveling uh, back to those countries with their level of education. That's like this is stuff that's argument. You can go look up NPER papers on it if you want, but like, I'm that's not gonna hilarious. sit here and argue and with a fucking dictionary, a dictionary. Remittances and human capital. Well, well, look, we don't need all these, we don't need all these high IQ people. Look at all the remittances they sent to us. Look at all this cash they sent to us. Having a to high IQ person in your country, having a high IQ person in your country isn't gonna be relevant if you don't have the educational institutions or the capital for them to take advantage of those how are they ever going to progress if they don't have high IQ by traveling to another country sense. by getting educated and then by and then working back with their home back. they don't have, they have to, to but they tend yeah, to they do, do so they tend They're to do build so their country from america they, all the high IQ people are going to go to america and rebuild nigeria from across the ocean that doesn't even make any sense oh put a at that so it must be true people like, tend just, to maintain the connections people tend to maintain the connections both in education and in family and in corporation when they travel to other countries to work a lot of that information travels back and forth again you can go and look up NBER papers on oh, this is a well documented concept. Brain drain is not supported by any studies. It's a concept that exists in a dictionary. Okay. Of course, if high IQ people leave one country and go to yeah, another. Yeah, of course. If a high IQ person just sits in a fucking country with no a person to take advantage of like his talents or his capabilities, that's so much better for them. Nice. Yeah, it's true. The country should have no high IQ people and all the high IQ people should be across the <clears> Or ocean. people with high IQ that's should be able to sort themselves into the appropriate educational institutions, get oh, appropriate oh, oh, oh. jobs that allow them to earn more money. Now. Yeah, what? Nick, they're getting on my ass right now. Just I, I appreciate the free speech and everything, uh -oh. but you can't drop the N word. You can't do that anymore on the stream. I just said it one time on accident. Just don't don't do it again. I know. I know. Was, I, know I know. I oh, just no. yeah, don't, don't fuck with that. Yeah, you're right. But yeah, the I'm Jews don't. The yeah. Jews don't. Well, know that, okay. as long as they're in Minecraft, right? As long as they're in Grand Theft okay, Auto yeah, Five. Minecraft. But, get uh, my ass right oh, now. Since he said it once, do I get one pass, or am I just do I no, miss out on the no. number? No, no, that one no, be canceled. Nick, you get that one time. That was an A. Unbelievable! A wow! Coming back. Unbelievable, right. dude. Well, anyway, but any uh, any final words? I what? The twenty second. The twenty second what? You watching that that nine eleven documentary? Nine eleven debate. Twenty. You mean the four hour one? Yeah, I'll watch it. I, I have a date. I'll watch it. I'll do the research. The research you have to do to prepare. I don't understand what you're gonna do. Well, well, one is I've got to watch the documentary from start to finish. Two, I need to document the claims in that documentary that contradict the official story. And then three, I need to start researching why the differences in those claims exist. So for instance, if they make a claim about like jet fuel can't melt steel beams, well, then it looks like the next thing I'm gonna be doing is researching like, well, how does uh, flame affect steel beams, right? If I find out that they melt at some temperature, I'm like, wow, that's some bullshit. Or I find out that they lose 80% of their integrity at some temperature, I'm like, oh, okay, well, that explains the difference. That's the process hey, through which I research. You have to do a lot of research to do this. Power seven. Yeah, yeah well, we've we all heard. Yeah, we've all heard the, the the same shit before. Thank you. Yes, Tower Seven. Yes. You're gonna watch this documentary, and if you don't get red pill that confirms you're a government spy, that's what you have to do. Mm -hmm. Sneeko, he's not gonna go and research. He's got to go and call his government handler, and his government handler is gonna say these are the talking points we've been pushing for 20 years to deceive the American public. Why are you so scared about say. me engaging critically with the material? Like you just want me to watch your video and be convinced? You're so scared of me doing my. If no, it's all, if I'm just gonna sell you the same bullshit story that the government's telling you, then you should be able to disprove it all easily. You'll own me. You guys will destroy me in a debate. I'm just saying you should go into it with an open mind. I'm going. I'm gonna watch not. it, right? 
Yeah, but you're not going into it with an open mind. You're going in there like, yeah, I'm gonna point out all the flaws yeah. in this. Like, I didn't say, you gotta be open what did I say I was gonna point out? What did I say I was gonna point out? You said you need to prepare. Yes, yeah, what did I say I was gonna- prepare if you have an open mind. What did I say I was gonna prepare? What, 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 what did I say I was gonna point out? That'd be like if I was going to watch a, like if I was going to watch the you, Elvis you don't, you don't remember? Movie and I was so like, I'll tell well, you. before I see it, I need to watch all these negative reviews to make sure. I didn't that, say like, anything I about negative reviews. What I said is that there is a common, analogy. officially accepted story for what happened with 9-11. So what I'll do is I will watch the documentary and I will document the differences in claims between the commonly accepted story and their story. And then I'll research why is there a difference. Maybe it'll come to be that when I do the research at the end, I'll be like, wow, this documentary made a lot of really good arguments. There are no ways to account That's for these services. Or That's maybe, foul. probably more likely, I'll do the research and I'll find out, oh wow, this is accounted for by this or that or that. We'll see what happens. Okay, I I'm really curious to see how this goes. Because sure. um, Sounds good. You're, you're just like, you know. He's yeah. just one of these government shills, bro. It's kind of sad to see. Where's the And you're an all media the... shill. You're you are literally a, a you're yes, you're an NPC. You're one of the most shill. bought people in the fucking who's, world, who's bro. Oh, I can okay. give you any government story in the world. What? Who, who is Nick shilling for? You shill the people who control everything in our life. Who the fuck is Nick shilling Nick for? Nick is shilling for everybody that wants to feel like they're above the system. Okay, so you shill for the powers that be. And Nick is shilling for independence. I freedom. shill for people to critically engage the world and question things as they will and to do research as Except they want. Except for 9-11. That's what I, if you want to question 9-11, I just said that's I was going to research it. Why are you scared of me researching it, Nick? Because you're all, I'm not. You're you are, you're scared of it. I literally just things. told you that I, I'll research it. There it is, there it is. There's those tactics again. The you're tactics of scheduling a formal yeah. debate? Do you, do you, no, do you see no, it? you're recently tactics of saying, why are you afraid of me in 9-11? Yeah. I'm not afraid of researching 9-11. The point is, you admitted earlier you never looked into conspiracies because that's a waste of my time. I, I, need to play I can't Dungeons look into dragons. every conspiracy theory. Bro, yeah. even with this mRNA vaccine shit, I learn a new conspiracy theory every two months about the fucking vaccines. I can't keep up with every single fucking conspiracy theory that you make a living oh selling your gullible oh audience every day on stream. No, I don't know. I don't. Whoa, have to, whoa. I'd rather play fucking D&D, my dude. Groundbreaking MSNBC take. You sell You're so scared. Like You're so Jones. scared of me just doing some I'm research, scared. bro. I want you to do it. I want you to watch it. I'm curious okay. to see your Thank reaction. Yeah. Okay. I think I need to chill because I'm in an apartment. I don't know if my neighbor's going to fucking kill me. <laughs> hey, man, you guys get heated over here. Why did you really plan out to wear the blue and red shirts? This is too perfect. No, it's like, it's me it's magic, bro. Dude, it's me magic. The red pill and the human blue, <laughs> the human blue pill. <laughs> but I like destiny. You know, we're, we're best friends. Uh, you know, we are, I don't know if you know that, Sneaker, but we are best friends. We're also fierce rivals, and, no, no, uh... I could see that. You ever seen the cool. Flowbots music yeah. video, the, uh, I can ride my bike with no handlebars? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're like the two dudes that go the different ways. That's cute. Oh, is it? Ride my bike, <laughs> no handlebars. Hey, be, Nick, be careful. If he wins, you guys are gonna end up in a relationship. No, I don't no, think that's no. gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> no, he's not my type. I'm not, oh. I'm not into Hispanics. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh, that is awesome. Yeah. Cuban and Mexican up here. Yeah, well, I, I like I like exotic, okay? I like a little... I, in that regard, I'm similar to Destiny. A little novelty, you know? I, I like that. But but I'm going to have to go a boring white. <laughs> that sounds similar to Destiny in that regard. I'm about to go back and stream. I'm yawning in this bitch. I'm tired, bro. All right. Oh, damn. I was just going to watch that five-hour documentary, too. But, uh, you know, on the 22nd. Fuck off. You're tired and you want to watch a five hour fi Okay, cool. Well, listen. If you have to watch it, I was ready to red pill you. I could be up for that. I don't give a fuck. On the 22nd, we'll do it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Do your research and call Hillary. <sighs> okay, it's Hunter. That's the guy I talk to now. All right, chill. All right. Peace out, Nick. Happy birthday. Yeah. Yep. All right. Thanks, man. Good night, guys. Love you, buddy. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Fuck it. Why not? I hear these come up enough. I've been playing a lot of Factorio. Um, the question is, do I want to do this research on stream or off stream? I don't think I'm going to be able to do it on stream because there's going to be a million fucking dipshits in chat. Um, so I'm probably going to have to do it off stream. Oh man.